Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here with LawAbidingBiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. I've got some products in front of me here that we are going to do a tutorial on and a full review, of course. I want to tell you real quick, you're looking at the table here. This is a motorcycle table lift. It's a Titan 1000D. Um, we did a full review and tutorial on this lift. You can get it over at lawabidingbiker.com slash motorcycle lifts. That is a resource page that we're making. And of course, the, the tutorial and video on this lift lives over there. Um, only the best of the best in the industry are gonna be allowed on that page. Uh, and uh, that includes motorcycle lift tables and motorcycle jacks. It's a resource that we're creating for you. So uh, of course, as we review new lifts, and companies get involved, they will live over on that page. So check it out again, lawabidingbiker.com slash motorcycle lifts. There's audio files over there, videos, and a whole bunch of resource information so that you don't have to be confused about what type of lift and how to get a motorcycle lift for your shop or garage. So in front of me, uh, we have quite a few uh, different products that he sent us that's all for the same kind of kit, so to speak. Don't worry, we're gonna break this down for you. We'll show you how to put it together and all that. I just wanna briefly go over some of the things that uh, James Murray from Titan Lift sent us. This obviously, uh, the main thing is the, uh, uh, the custom profile cradle here. And uh, it can, like I say, it can be used on the floor, in the garage, in a trailer, and it also uh, fits right on this Titan lift. This is obviously the main uh, wheel there. You can call it a wheel chalk or a wheel cradle, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we've got that piece. Of course, we've got the main base frame that that obviously is going to go to. I want to go over this. This is the uh, tie-down arm extension kit that we have right here. And as I'm looking through the kit, it comes with all the hardware. Every box comes with the hardware and the pins and the kit and all that. So this is a, uh, again, an ex a, a tie down arm extension kit. And then of course it looks like we have the bolts and the main, you know, for the front wheel for the cradle to stop there, so to speak. And we will be putting all this together, of course. Um, and then this is really cool. This is a uh, uh, quick detach base and he actually sent us two of them. And what these are gonna allow us to do is not only put one on the lift um, right up here, but we can also put another one in the trailer uh, if I ever you know, need to haul motorcycles you know, uh, in a trailer environment, then this will quick detach this whole system. Um, and you could actually get more of these, put it you know, in your garage, put one on the lift, put one in the trailer, and you can move this one cradle around real easy. So, and here uh, also we received are narrow tire adapters that will obviously function with the actual cradle. And we'll get into that a little bit more. Also, he sent us some really robust straps. And let me get this one, it's untied here. The strap here is super thick. We're kind of using some aftermarket, so to speak, straps here on this lift and they're kind of thin and, you know, although they work, they're your typical tie down strap. Well, he sent us these to go along with this cradle. And let me tell you, these things are super duper thick and strong and uh, at least twice as wide, really robust hooks with a clip in them so they don't come off and a nice rubber handle on the ratcheting mechanism, rubber here so you're not cutting your hands. These things are really nice. And then of course, they've got the nice soft uh, wrap here around the strap for going around your handlebars or whatever part of your motorcycle so it's not putting um, you know strap marks in your uh, motorcycle so those are some of the things that he sent us I do want to say the Titan lift obviously the 1000d came with the uh, tire vise this comes stock with the lift up here if you go over and check our video out in our review um, and it works uh, no problem but uh, obviously you get the bike on the lift You've got to drive it on, put it in between there if you're by yourself. I can do it. You have to get off your bike, hold your bike with one hand, and then start cranking the crank down to pinch that tire in between the vise. A partner helps. Um, but, but it works and it secures the bike great. What this system is going to allow us to do uh, to basically you know, up the functionality of this lift is put this in. Uh, this wheel chalk system and I'll be able to one person actually drive right into that wheel chalk and done. It locks the bike into place and uh, makes it a much easier operation and you don't have to uh, crank the vise down each time. So gonna be a nice little addition. We're gonna test it, we're gonna review it and uh, let's go ahead, check this out and get it put together, huh? All right, and to start, you've got the front post here 
and all I've done with it, it was separate, of course, it mounts right up on top here. It's got four bolts, of course, they come with your kit. You've got the bolt, a lock washer, and then a flat washer, and four of them go around. It's a uh, hex head is what it is, and it's six millimeter. And I just went around and I tightened all four of those down, securing the front post to the base here. Then we've got the wheel stop. It simply goes right up here. It's got a pin that comes with it. Slide the pin through, and then of course it's got this pin to lock it in place. Now you have your wheel stop in place. Okay, next we've got the actual wheel cradle. We're gonna mount it to the base. And I will tell you that this plate here is actually gonna go underneath. You'll see there's some kind of adjust holes there where you have a little bit of play. Um, the bolt's actually gonna go down to that, and this will actually slide underneath. All right, so slide that underneath like so. And then again, I have these bolts with the lock washer and then the flat washer, and we're gonna go around all four of these, and they go through, and then this plate on the wheel cradle is actually threaded, and they thread right down into that. So I'm just gonna go around and get all those started, and then uh, again, it's a six millimeter wrench, and we'll get it cranked down. All right, just getting the last one snug down there. And now the wheel cradle is attached to the base. All right, and then before you use it here, just make sure you're getting some oil. I'm just using some regular old oil. Make sure you get it up in your pivot points there. All right, and as you can see, once, this, uh, once it's all set up and this goes forward when the motorcycle's on it, it's got a bar here and then it's got a catch. You can lock down in so that that doesn't lift back up. Okay, and in addition, we were sent the tie-down arm extension kit, which is really nice. This is, of course, how the base is. These rubber caps come right off the end. Here's your arm extension. You'll note a little hole in it. There's also a hole in here. It lines right up like so. And then, of course, you provided pins to go through and lock that down. And one of those is for each side. Also, I wanna show you, on the end of these is also an eye bolt here, and uh, it's threaded, and you can crank these down. And of course, once this is on the system and it's all locked down, these will be for ratchet tie-down straps so that you can tie your motorcycle down. It'll also give the entire chalk system some more stability. So a nice little add-on. All right, we were also sent narrow tie-down adapters. I will tell you, as this sits, it is good for 15-inch to 22-inch diameter uh, wheels and tires from 70 millimeters to 140 millimeters. That's what it will accept. And uh, it does cut, we did get the kit, the narrow tire adapters for your smaller tires. And it comes with four of them, of course. And they are made, they're really, uh, really thick. And they just slide right over here like so. And they're kind of made to fit just right. And then you can kind of just get them on like that. You put it on all four and that will, uh, of course, make it so narrow tires can fit in here and uh, be secure. Okay, real quick, let's make sense of the quick detach plates here, guys. We got two of them, and uh, so we can put one on the lift, of course, and then one in a trailer or whatever. You can get as many as you want. So basically what we're looking at here is the underside of the cradle. This is where the nose comes together, of course. This is underneath, and the cradles, little or the uh, quick detach plates come with these two right here, these two bolts, and they are five millimeter hex head, all right? And once we get those in here, I'll crank these down and we'll show you how the kind of how the plate works. Okay, we've got those cranked down. And now you can see basically how those work is this plate will be, of course, mounted to a flat surface. All right, so this side will be up. And all they do is you see they've got the big uh, circles here into the little ones there. And so basically what you'll do is once you have your lift on that flat surface and this is attached, you'll just slide it in like so and then you can slide it back and then it will lock into place. Additionally, to help lock it, it comes with basically a wing nut here and that goes right through this side, the top side, and it comes to this hole and it will actually push pressure down on this plate um, and this base and it will lock it down even further. Now, the kit also comes with hardware to bolt it down to a lift or a trailer and you can see there's one there and one there and it comes with two real long bolts and uh, two large flat washers. And uh, of course, I've got two of them on here, but just one is all you need. And uh, that will just, of course, bolt through on that, whatever flat surface you're on, and then it comes with locking nuts for this side. 
And so that's how you're gonna secure it to a lift or a trailer or whatever you want. So I'm actually gonna get these bolted down to the lift right now. All right, and all I've done at this point is taken the stock orange wheel vise that comes with the Titan 1000D and I've taken it off, of course. And I put the quick detach plate right here and ran the two bolts, the hardware that comes through it, lock nuts on the bottom. So it's all secured to the nose of the lift. Now I will tell you a little trick and that is make sure you take these rubber end caps. And uh, so, but when these are on, you're gonna have a real difficult time because uh, it's raising it up, getting it in this plate. So just take them off if you're using it with the lift. That's a little trick I learned. And of course the hardware's mounted. We can just lift this up, drop it down in the big large holes. And then of course to secure it, go ahead and pull it forward like so. And then of course it's got the wing nut and we can thread that right down in to here. And we can get uh, this lift secured down and uh, we can start testing it. So there we go. All right, we'll go ahead and get the bike on the lift here. All right, there you go. And uh, super nice, I don't have to get off in that old, the wheel vise, I don't have to crank it down and hold the bike with one hand. It's nice and secure. Definitely not gonna tip over. Of course, before we work on it, uh, certainly gonna use these nice, every time we work on a bike on the lift, these nice new Titan straps that they sent us, these super thick, and they're nice because you can go right around and this big strap hooks right to itself, of course. You could tie it here, and then we've got the ratchet strap that we can ratchet down. Um, better yet, we do it there sometimes, and these are really made for up here on the handlebar system. And again, to itself, and you can get a really nice solid pull on this strap and just ratchet them down. Of course, I'll put one on both sides, and that will give this bike extra stability while it's on the lift. All right, we'll give you the trick here to get the bike off the lift. Uh, it can be kind of a bear, but it can be done. And we strongly suggest when you order your lift, make sure you get these side extension panels down here. It gives you somewhere to put your feet. Definitely a nice addition. You can find more information over at lawabidingbiker.com slash motorcycle lift. There's some other reasons to have these too, but uh, basically I'm just gonna pull real hard a couple times. And each time I pull, I'm going to push my front brake and stop the bike from going back in. I don't wanna give up what I've gained. So a couple good pulls, hit the brake each time, just know. Once I release it from that front wheel chalk, it's going to really quickly spit me right out the back of this lift and my back tire is going over the back. So it's kind of the point of no return. So definitely be prepared for that. Here we go. And there you go. That's how you back it off the lift. All right. And so now we're going to test it just on a regular garage floor and see if it will hold or if the motorcycle just pushes it. Uh, will it need to be bolted down or not? All right, so as you can see there, definitely going to need to be bolted down to your garage floor, uh, you know, or up against a wall, so to speak, uh, something to stop it from sliding across the floor like that. I do want to mention, don't forget, that uh, <clears throat> once the bike is in there, there is this little latch that you can latch down. I don't want you to forget about that. That way the bike couldn't actually be pulled off there. All right, and so as you saw, it freely slid across, across the garage floor. There's no way uh, for it not to do that. So we have an extra quick detachable plate, uh, detached plate, and of course, you could put that in your concrete. We did it with an old cheap chalk we had. This thing is super nice compared to the old one. Um, but you can actually get, you know, drill it with a drill concrete bit, and then you can put little thread deals down in there that kind of spread out and get stuck in there. And then you can bolt this down to your concrete floor. Of course, we have a lift, so we're just going to use it on the lift. But this second detached plate will go in my uh, trailer uh, in case we ever have to trailer a bike. So um, again, you can get as many of those as you want. Uh, so you would have to have this up against a wall uh, or something very, very sturdy uh, to stop it from sliding forward when you're trying to put a bike in it. All right, in true fashion here at Law Abiding Biker Media, we like to keep it real, what works, what doesn't. How are you gonna do it in your shop or garage? Uh, I go ahead and I put it up to try this, just thought of it, uh, put it up against my lawn tractor, the park brake is on, of course. Kind of use the tires there and, and put the extension bars up in there real good, so let's give it a try.
So there you go. That's not going to happen either. It is going to have to be bolted down seriously or up against a wall for this thing not to slide. So at the end of the day, we want to give the Titan Bulldog Custom Profile Cradle a five out of five stars. We want to thank Titan Lifts and James Murray over there for having the courage to send us a product for us to completely review and to do a tutorial and review it in a real world environment. And that's why you guys know if you find it over at lawabidingbiker.com that it is a worthy product. Some might say, why did you give it a five out of five stars when it slid across the garage floor? Well, let me tell you, you won't find a cradle or a wheel chalk like that that's not gonna slide across a garage floor. Of course, we wanted to try it, uh, but that's normal to have to bolt those down. I had an older one, we had to bolt that down too. We gave it a five out of five stars based on you know the way it's built, the quality, uh, the ease of putting it together, uh, of course, how it works in different environments, both on a lift, a trailer, and a garage floor. So uh, for all those reasons, that's why we gave it a five out of five stars. So you can guarantee only companies that trust their product and believe in it are gonna send it to us because we are going to give it a real world and a fair review. That's what you'll find over at lawabidingbiker.com. Thanks so much to Titan Lifts again. Also, they sent us some pretty cool shirts and stuff like that. Sent us a couple beanies and uh, also some motorcycle kickstand coasters and all that kind of stuff. So thanks a lot. Again, Titan Lifts, good to go, guys. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.